Hello, thank you for clicking on my video tutorial for the Nokia E71X from AT&T. In this next part of the series, I'll be demoing some of my favorite third-party applications. So before I do, just wanted to make a quick mention about the memory storage on the phone. In my earlier video, I mentioned this supports up to an 8GB memory card. Now one of the key differentiators on the Nokia E71X compared to some other smartphones on the market is that with this phone, it actually enables you to store and run your apps directly off of the memory card. So other than just storing your music and your other media like your pictures, you can again download and run your apps directly off the expandable memory which supports up to an 8 gig uh, expandable memory card. So there's one quick point and one other quick thing, um, there's no official app store integrated into the device. There's a lot of cool apps out there all over the world and all over the internet that you'll find for Symbian smartphones. Nokia is actually working on something called OVI, o -V -I, so you can actually visit that website. It's in beta mode right now. Um, they expect to be launching hopefully sometime this summer, possibly June, July time frame, and you will be able to actually go there and get all your applications directly from that website for your Nokia Symbian device. In addition to applications, OVI also will have the capability to sync your phone, uh, calendar contacts, upload and share media, social networking, all kinds of cool stuff. So now let's look at some of my favorite apps. First one we're going to look at is YouTube. So there is, as of recently, a uh, YouTube app for Symbian phones. So I'll just go ahead and access my task manager and pull that up. So it's a really cool user interface. You can download this application for free and uh, basically what you can do, as you can see here, you can search just as you would on YouTube, scroll through different, different videos, and uh, go ahead and select one. And it has, again, a cool user interface. It'll pull it right up and uh, connect and load the, the video. Hopefully this will play for us here in a second. And we'll watch a quick, funny video, one of my favorites on YouTube. Check it out. Sleeping Dog, it's called. Got your task bar there. Keep in mind this dog is asleep. And now he's awake. Great video. So the way you would uh, go ahead and download this application is I'm going to go ahead and go over to my web browser here. Uh, you just actually enter the URL youtube.com and it will take you to the mobile version of the website. Uh, and right from the home screen, it'll have this link, download the YouTube application. You just click that, follow the simple installation process, and it will be right in your games and apps folder on your phone. And you can even create a shortcut on your home screen and load that YouTube icon right up on the home screen of your device. Pretty cool. Again, for free. Let's look at another one here. Here is the uh, photo browser that you can download from, uh, from the Beta Labs on Nokia's website. So uh, the phone's internal uh, photo browser is just kind of a, uh, a, a normal standard uh, looking photo, photo browser. You can just kind of scroll through one at a time. Whereas with this, as you can see, really cool interface. It'll kind of float your pictures all around on the screen. And just a cool way to show them off to your friends and family. So definitely recommend downloading that one. Uh, again, it's free. I'm going to show you the website. Just going to go ahead and hit back here on my browser and show you where to find that. Okay, so here we go. Going to load the page up. You can see the status bar on the top left. Maybe I don't have the best signal right now. There we go, loading up. So, Nokia Beta Labs. Uh, the URL here is betalabs.nokia.com. And there's a whole list of cool stuff that you can download, and one of them being the Nokia Photo Browser. So just go ahead and uh, I don't I don't see it here on the home, but you can definitely uh, quickly find it if you search around. Uh, you can just go to All Releases. Okay. Uh, one other favorite app I want to go ahead and show you is um, Mobler. Mobler is a streaming music player through the Last.fm service. You can go ahead and create a free account on Last.fm. Um, and it's a it's a great uh, 
great website for you know social networking for music lovers. Um, they recommend artists to you based on what you're listening to, and it has a lot of cool features on there. Um, so what you can do here with this application is uh, you can type in you know certain artists, uh, all kinds of stuff. So let's look at it. options, start a new station, artists. I can search by tag, or I can listen to you know the tracks that it, it recommended or personal um, playlists that based on, on the artist that I entered as my favorite artist. A lot of other different options. So let's just say, for example, I'm going to search by artist. Okay, here we go. Um, tons of music content on here. You'll really find all kinds of uh, music that uh, you didn't know that you loved, but you're going to find all kinds of new stuff. So uh, other than that, I actually like to listen to uh, some stand-up comedy when I'm, when I'm on a long road trip. So I got to meet you, Martin. It might not always pull that uh, specific artist up first, but it will pull up a, a, a list of similar artists. So I uh, can't guarantee this is going to be 100% appropriate, but as you can see, it works. So let me just go ahead and turn that down for a second. And so it'll, it'll uh, go ahead and bring up all sorts of similar artists, basically a, a whole list of, of stand-up comedians. So right here on the device, I could... Uh, ban a track by hitting down, I'm going to say no. Um, I could mark a track as a favorite or love. Um, and one of the cool things with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn this down here for a second. If I, if you have a, a Facebook account and you um, select last.fm as one of your applications, every time you mark songs or tracks as favorites, it will automatically update that to your Facebook wall so your friends and family can see uh, what kind of music you like and what you've been listening to. They can just go ahead and click on it <coughs> and go right over to last.fm and listen to what you like. Um, I can also skip tracks on here and it really plays pretty smoothly. Um, you know, occasionally you might get into a, an area where it has to buffer a little bit, but for the most part it, it plays pretty smooth. Um, also you can see right here it says three scrabbles. So what that means is uh, every time I listen to a song or a track it's basically kind of recording that data, what I like, what I don't like, and it'll recommend artists based on that. It'll do that with this, uh, you know, the music that I'm listening to from last.fm, and it will also do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit stop here, it'll also do that from my phone's internal music player. So, for example, if I go ahead and switch over to my music player, start playing some Linkin Park, go back to my Mobler app, and as you can see there, it is scrabbling, as it calls it, uh, the music that I'm listening to. So it'll report that back to Last.fm and recommend similar artists. So um, here's some other functionality. If you go ahead and hit the left key, you can uh, share tracks, share artists, create playlists, similar artists, similar tracks, even events that are local in your area. So all kinds of cool things. This is probably my favorite app to use on, uh, on the E71 app. It's a very cool, very cool app, especially for, uh, you know, Plug it and play when you're, if you have uh, a setup where you can uh, hook it into your car stereo or some other uh, stereo system, or even listen to a Bluetooth headset. So let me go ahead and get back to my music player, and just real quick, where to download, I'm sure you want to know. So let me bring up my web browser again, and uh, let's see here. So quickest way that I, that I get to that application is I just go to Google, type in Mobler app for S60, and It'll give you a list of results. It's usually the third or fourth result that comes up. It comes up as code.google something or other mobler. And then go ahead and select on that. And we'll go ahead and load the page and I'll show you what you want to click on. Okay. And once you pull that up, you'll see right here code license. That's uh, not what you want. Uh, down below, featured downloads, it's the SISX app. So just click on that and it'll install directly to your phone. Again, you're going to want to create a uh, free account on last.fm because you will need to enter in a user ID and a password to get everything working. Um, so that's pretty much that. All your applications will automatically download to your games and apps folder. What I've done is I've created a new folder uh, that I've named apps folder and that's where I'm storing all my additional applications. So. Tons of cool stuff you can download. Those are just a few to get you started. Uh, please, if you, if you have any other favorites or, uh, or anything like that, please uh, 
leave a shout out to, in the comment section below for, for all of us to see and try out. So thanks again for watching my video and uh, don't forget to watch my other videos on the E71X. Thanks.